I think that part of the crisis that we're experiencing right now is also a crisis of the imagination. This moment of trauma and pain and isolation and neglect, I think is really an invitation for each and every single one of us to really think about creating a world that truly is livable and inhabitable for everyone. You know, it's not just COVID uh, that impacts the most marginalized segments of society. 90% of children with disabilities have never seen the inside of a classroom. And as a disabled African who has since graduated from the University of Oxford, I feel a deep moral obligation to shine a spotlight on the untapped potential of such a large segment of society. My entire life is a constant effort to push the boundaries of equality and push the boundaries of possibility. And that's why I'm so deeply committed to my vision of possibly becoming the first physically disabled person to travel into space. The idea really is to be able to address the world from the edge of the planet as the first wheelchair user up in space. What I'm seeking to transcend are the social and cultural impositions that society places on people who are different. Part of what I want to do through my advocacy is really a love letter to the power of the human spirit, to the tenacity of disabled people, of queer people, of black people, of women, of all people who have ever found themselves in situations where they were not made to feel welcome or included. If we can push the boundaries of accessibility in space, we can push the boundaries of equality and dignity here on earth as well.